an existing WMS network is to be extended by a WMS Web Control Pro. The existing project file is opened in the WMS Studio Pro. If no project file is available, it can be created with the function read out existing project. The WMS Web Control Pro is displayed in the sidebar under Selection, Transmitter and added to the project with a double click. It is recommended to activate the central time switch to be able to use the full range of functions. The interface can now be structured in the settings of the Web Control Pro. A room represents a type of register to which the receivers are added. The room name can be adjusted via the pen icon. A new channel can be created via the element Add Receiver. An individual name is also assigned for the channel. The designations are displayed later on the user interface. The entry is confirmed with the button Channels as Scenes. All available receivers are displayed in the list that now appears. Click on the receivers to be allocated to the channel. The same principle can be used to create all the required channels and allocate the receivers. A receiver can be controlled via several channels and it is also possible to create a group channel. By activating the central time switch, the awning receiver must also be reloaded, recognizable by the orange marking on the product icon. To do this, click on the corresponding device in the Transfer tab. The loading process can be started via the Load Device button. If all receiver icons are marked green, the WMS Web Control Pro can be loaded. The transmitter is displayed as a new device in the sidebar and clicked. Then select the appropriate device in the workspace and the loading process is started. The WMS Web Control Pro is now ready for operation.